Now we are ready for our first map of the game. We're starting off on Northern Isles. Happy bottom left, arrow top right. What build are we going to be seeing here? Nowadays, orcs have a couple of different builds to choose from. Blade Master, still a possible strategy, although nowadays the new Lin build seems to be the sexiest and most attempted. With the Farseer Fast Tech into Tier 2 expansion. Headhunters after the nerf have basically completely disappeared from this matchup, at least as far as the opening goes. But headhunters have been buffed again. I wonder if they will become more relevant. We saw quite a bit of headhunters, for example, in Group A, when Sok was facing the Orcs. I was quite sad to see Sok play the way he did. To be honest, he was playing pretty bad. Sok was uh, one of our few human hopes in this tournament. Now Sok has been eliminated along with Starbuck. Only human left is Hawk, who we're going to be seeing tomorrow. Dude, I've seen a bunch of posts on Reddit how the balance is completely unfair now and how human is OP and blah blah blah. These little wine babies. Unbelievable. Patch hasn't even been out like three weeks. Don't get me started. So indeed, it's the Farseer fast tech. It's a bit of a late tech considering the build, isn't it? Normally, we see this build start, uh, this tech start a bit earlier. A are under no fortitude. No, no fortitude is not playing this week. Unfortunately, the highest ranked human in the world not participating in this tourney. Wait, is he playing in the War 3 Champions? I'm not even sure right now. Let me look that up real quick. Uh, hold up. A town is under siege. No, 40 isn't playing in the War 3 Champions either. Maybe taking a bit of a break right now. Remo, I saw the Frankfurt hate tweet. <laughs> Yeah, Darkness, you're a good dude, but... Frankfurt is kind of bad. I-M-O. Honestly, I kind of like the uh, main train station. As long as you stay inside, that is, you know? Like, outside the train station, it's pretty messed up. But inside, it's pretty cool, I gotta say. <coughs> Happy so far, easily creeping up to level 2. Finds the new crystal ball dropped item. Can we call it new? I guess it's kind of... Uh, repurposed. And of course, the goal here for Happy will be to reach level 3 as well as possible. Don't lose any ghouls. Don't lose too much mana or HP. And if you get to level 3, then things can become quite hectic for the orc. With the Acolyte Scout, Happy knew exactly what was going on. And now, of course, Arrow didn't make any early game units, so now he can explode on tier 2. Is he going to follow Lin's build here? With a TC and Totem and Double Beast Fury. That's what we've seen before. Here's the Totem. Double Beast Fury. Yes, sir. It's a bit late with everything. Oh, it's Fire Lord. Hold on. Okay, no TC. Newly buffed. Fire Lord. Oh. Isn't this going to be extremely weak against destroyers? Ooh, I mean, these are not two good late game heroes, let me tell you. At least Arrow got one ghoul, that's something. Seems like he won't be getting much more though. Oh, 
almost the last hit stolen, but couldn't quite manage. All right. Next step on the list must be the expansion for Arrow. Happy on the way to tier 3 already. Lacking a bit of lumber here. But he's got good items on the DK. With this mana potion, he could just go coil hunting now, maybe. And that's an easy steal. Happy here seems to be in full control so far. Takes out the lava spawn as well, and yep, that's what I meant by coil hunting. And well, this Fire Lord is just dead. Rough start for Arrow here. <laughs> of course, facing the best player in the world, that is what can happen. Oh my god. Big man I used. Farseer gonna have to TP. Well, well, well. Oh, I can steal this item as well. Yikes. <laughs> he is close to level 4 already. Let's get some good items here. I guess not amazing, but I would still call them good indeed. Oh, he's gonna get the cancel again. Oh my god, cancel again. Ay, 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 ay. This game is going pretty bad for Arrow. Yeah, we've seen a lot of players in a lot of matchups try to incorporate the Fire Lord. I think Sock also tried against Orc. Which I don't think looked that good. I wonder if it has a, a place in this strategy. If played by a more experienced player, perhaps. Alright, this could be a decent timing for Arrow. The upgrade frenzy isn't ready yet. Happy's gonna TP out trying to save the ghouls. Saves one of them. But frenzy and destroyer is coming. And destroyers will be so, so, so good here. Alright, bats are already on the way. And they will most certainly be needed. He's being patient. He knows he has to wait for these upgrades. These will be big improvements on his army. Supply-wise, Arrow has a big lead, but supply can be deceiving sometimes. Dark Ranger third. Arrow's trying to distract. And buy time for the expansion. Oh! But he has a first destroyer, and this is where things start getting even more difficult. Expansion is nicely secured, but this is lots of gold that was invested in the expo, which hasn't paid off at all yet. This is like 300 gold. Plus 400 gold. Almost 700. Maybe like 650. And the bats haven't gotten to connect just yet. Nice surround here. The magic damage takes out the walker. Happy is looking on point. First map of the day. Alright, this is the push. Arrow needs to take out the destroyers. But Happy is really prioritizing taking out the bats from range. Coil Nova here works well. As you can see, bats have 325 HP. This means level 2 Coil and level 1 Nova insta gibbs the bats. And also, of course, a couple of right clicks can help. Bad riders can do big damage, but they are very frail.
They have less HP than ghouls, if you think about it. Oh, alright. Two bats connect. That's finally the destroyer killed. But the ground army for Arrow is also not looking too impressive. Normally the TC is the big carry of this army. And late game, Wyvern, if you get to them. But this Fire Lord has not looked too impressive just yet. And even without the destroyers, the summons aren't looking scary at all, really. Fire Lord surrounded. This will be his second death. And I'm happy to realize that his opponent only has bats. And, well, if there's no destroyers to go up against, what do those bats do? Not much. There's no frost armor, by the way. It's rare for Happy, right? He almost always goes frost armor. Even an undead mirror. At least he used to. It's just kill after kill. It's a painful first map for Arrow. Of course, getting a win here would have been an incredible upset. I guess even getting just one map would be a huge surprise. And, wow, I completely missed that there was an expansion coming. <laughs> Happy played it safe. Got his expansion up across the map. Didn't really need it. Taking out the expansion here is his W. With this kind of a tier 2 strat by the orc, there's no late game tier 3 transition. You cannot win without an expansion. TP on home, keep the main base safe. And, oh, happy made a... Small mistake here. He tried to leave the ghouls behind on Lumber. Missed that a bit. But, all in all, still very clear affair. Happy here, playing super strong. There was almost no doubt at any time who was going to take this first map. All right, map two. Oops. Uh, it's going to be Arrow's choice, so perhaps there things can look a bit better. And Tight Hunters will be the pick. Seven percent of you guys even dared to bet on Arrow. It's a bold prediction. Didn't quite come true this time. Apparently Arrow won two maps against Labby this morning. That is actually indeed quite good. Labby's been looking hot lately. Ever since his uh, great run at the WSB. Got him high up in the ELO standings as well. But in the Ted Cup, Labby hasn't quite impressed in the same manner just yet. I don't know what it is with Labby, but he only plays well in a few tournaments, right? Like, in uh, WSB, he oftentimes plays very well. Also, we've had a few stints of his in the War 3 Champions Finals, where he played really well as well. But in many of the Chinese tournaments, uh, he hasn't been able to bring the same just yet. We'll see if that changes tomorrow, when we get to see Labby in the group of undeads. This should be a pretty good group for Labby as well, right? His Unin Mirror, normally, pretty damn good. What is this guy's MMR? About 2,400, so pretty damn good. Unfortunately, Happy oftentimes uh, makes you look like an inferior player. I guess you could call that the Happy Factor. 
What's Happy's MMR? Like 2700? More or less? I haven't checked in a while. Oh, Labby's rank one of the ladder right now, actually. But Happy's MMR is higher. About 2600 to 650. Somewhere around there. Alright, this time the tech is a little faster, by the way. No Tau on map 1. The tier 2 tech was kind of slow, considering this opening. Oh, Happy starting to build his shop in the back. I like this way more. I've never been a fan of him putting the shop in front here and then having the altar behind. It's very hard to repair. This way the shop is way sa safer. And this costs you like maybe two seconds max, I would say, being in this position. And especially against the uh, Walker Raider build. The Orc can go oftentimes for a strong timing before under tier 3 where they can kill ghouls and also the shop. So I like the adjustment here. Quite a bit. Wolf Arras, not gonna lead to kill most likely, but it's gonna cost Happy a bit of gold, maybe delay the tech a little. Oh, almost a steal? Almost. Alright, here's the tech. Almost two minutes behind. This is pretty normal for this strategy. Acid Steel would be phenomenal, but Happy has gotten very used to this kind of play. Solo Farsi Harass. And nowadays rarely loses anything to said Harass. Good items here already. Oh, there was an opportunity here for a steal, but the Farseer not quite able. Oh, Ghoul. Oh, he's actually gonna get it. Small mistake by Happy. Loses a ghoul. Not the end of the world, of course, but... Every ghoul kill can matter in the end. Alright, tier 2 ready. Timing here is very important for the orc. Every second for the TC or whatever second hero you have. And the tier 2 buildings. The cool thing about the Fire Lord is he instantly comes out from the tavern. And you can get active with him right away. It's a big, big advantage, of course, over the TC. Where the TC will be stronger later, or would be stronger later, the Fire Lord is active very quickly. But you need to get ahead with the Fire Lord. In an even late game, he's not going to cut it. Fighting for the last hits. Happy's going to get it. Picks up the item as well, gets a sentry ward for his troubles. And that is perfectly level 3, by the way. A lot of this mana this time though, so... Arrow doesn't need to be so concerned with his heroes as it was on map 1. Where both the Fire Lord and the Farseer were in trouble right away. Ooh, and another steal. Happy, utterly in his opponent's face here. You can see the confidence by Happy. Normally, almost every undead, after, you know, creeping level 3 would send all the ghouls home, but Happy's like, you know what, I can use these two ghouls, and if I micro them back fast enough, I won't even lose them. Because raiders aren't ready yet. Raiders are now coming, but still a little ways off. Slowing down the enemy expansion, slowing down the enemy's leveling. Thank you, Ciao Vernasa and Butt Leggings and Xandorian with the resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And the Crest Fallen with the resub, says Hail Satan, everyone. 79 months already, my dude. Thank you. Oh, coils the peon as well. 
Now that the Raider is out, and especially with the second Raider coming, the DK should have to fall back. But Happy delayed this very well. Scouting again with a Skelly, seeing when the Peon's gonna set it up. And Happy might just counter expand again. He's got the Acolyte from the early game still alive. A town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. Excellent play here by Happy. Which should not come as too much of a surprise. Four raiders. Excuse me, three raiders. And already bats. Isn't this a bit too early for bats, I wonder? Ideally, you want to have a few wyvern as well for DPS. And the Sentry Ward here gives Happy great vision. Knew not to attack the expansion as he saw the enemy army approaching. And right now, at this point in time, Raider Walker with Spirit Link is super strong against the Ghoul Army. Of course, this will soon change. This is normally where the Orcs try to force a fight, sometimes even go into the enemy main base. Trying to pick off statues, trying to pick off Ghouls. The magic down from the Walkers, great for that, the Ensnare lock and all, all that. So I think Arrow is being a bit too passive here. Shouldn't he be forcing a fight at the moment? Seems like he's on the wrong side of the map. Happy now playing very passive. Wants to be cautious here as long as his tier 3 upgrades aren't ready yet. And Arrow's just creeping green camps. It seems like a big waste of time, I gotta say. Wait, what was the item here? Ah, circlet. All right. Lich looking very well equipped once more. Seems like Happy always managed to stack up the Lich. And you can see, here comes the arrow. Arrow trying to force a fight, but Happy is keeping everything safe in the back. Well, except for the Lich, maybe. The DK is ready to coil and heal his buddy. Uh, I mean, Dark Ritual? Nope. It is Frost Armor this time. Alright, interesting. Changing the skill build. Oh my god, look at the Destroyer Dispel. Full mana right away from the Spirit Link Dispel. Happy still trying to keep it back though. To avoid getting bad ridered. This was not a good exchange for Arrow. Losing a couple of units already. Fire Lord is level 3. But what does this Fire Lord do now? He seems so useless to me. Oh, there go the bats. Alright. First little bit of success for Arrow. But we have more destroyers. And there are so many things to dispel in this Orc army. The wolves, the lava spawn, the spur link. Happy again finding plenty of kills. At least Arrow is also getting a few kills. Happy is low mana. Needs to get new statues in. Happy did end up losing a lot of units, to be honest. Perhaps this is more playable than I initially thought. And if the bats connect, take out the destroyer, then all bats are off. Hey. Alright, next destroyer taken out. And since Happy always has some more new destroyers, he never really has the statues on the ground to sustain. Could be a feast on the peons. This could be plenty of skeletons. Spirit Link rarely ever seems to be super effective here. And now there's the new statue. Oh, and this new statue is so juicy. Healing all the time, regening mana all the time. The bats not getting the connection this time around. And of course the destroyers, when they dispel, they also heal. Believe it or not.
And once again, if the expansion falls, the game is over. Arrow's gonna try everything here to hold. But that seems to be very hard to do. Every reinforcement for Happy is really strong. The Frenzy Ghouls, the statues. Good positioning on the Destroyer by Happy. Really allowing the bats to get the big connect. And now Arrow gonna have to call it. GG it is. Happy. The big favorite here prevails and played just very, very solid. Really well done. He is our eternal champion for a reason.